solve one problem asked in the year of gate 2008 for total 4 marks there were two problems and there was a common data for both the problems and the problem is a reinforced concrete beam of rectangular cross section of width 230 mm and effective depth 400 mm is subjected to a maximum factor shear force of 120 kN the grades of concrete main steel and steel of steel are m20 fe415 and fe250 respectively for the area of main steel provided the design shear strength tau c s per as surface is 2000 is 0.48 newton per mm square the beam is designed for collapse limit stack so the first problem for this data is the spacing of two laced 8 mm steel up to be provided is so let's solve this problem before that let me write the given data the width effective depth grade of concrete grade of steel grade of steel for stirrups we can write here so width is 230 effective depth is 400 so i can write 230 here 400 fck is m20 that is 20 newton per mm square 20 pascal for main reinforcement grade is 415 and for stirrups it is fe 250 Tau C is given 0.48 newton per mm square for the design reinforcement. 4.48 mega pascal. So we can write. So we need to calculate two list spacing of two list 8 mm steel. So let's check the conditions. Whether we have to provide the minimum shear reinforcement or redesign the section or uh, we have to design the stirrups. So let's calculate the value of nominal shear. Stress tau v is equal to v u divided by v d. One thing you people should notice in the first problem they have not discussed anything regarding the torsional moment. So we need to calculate the shear stresses considering the applied shear force, not considering the effect of torsion. So what I need to say here, uh, tau v is equal to v u divided by v d. What is the value of v u? That is the shear force. Shear force is 120 kilo newton. So I can write. 120 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 230 into the effective depth 400. So let's calculate the value. So value we can calculate 120 into 1000 divided by 230 into 400. So here we are getting the value of nominal shear stress tau v equal to 1.30. Newton per mm square. This is the value of tau v. Now, after the value of tau v, what we need to uh, discuss here? We compare the value of tau v and tau c. So I notice tau v is greater than tau c. It should be less than tau c max. This is the condition. If it is greater than tau c but less than tau c max, then I have to design the shear stirrups. So, but the tau c max I don't know. It but the value is given uh, in the IS surface six two thousand. The the approximate formula I can give for tau c max, which is equal to point six two under root F C K. The grade of the concrete is twenty. So under root twenty into point six two, and it is equal to two point seven newton per mm square. Two point seven seven. So I can write two point eight. 2.8 newton per mm square so you can see your tau v is greater than tau c but less than tau c max so we need to provide design shear stirrups so i can give the comment design the stirrups shear stirrups right so let's design the shear stirrups how to design we will design the shear stirrups For, see one thing you should notice applied shear stress is 1.3 shear strength is 0.48 so shear stirrups shall be designed to take 
the remaining stress and the remaining stress value is 1.3 minus 0.48. So 1.3 minus 0.48. Since it is a stress, stress can be converted in the force. So uh, that will be converted in by multiplying B into D. So 230 into 400. Actually, there is a formula of this design shear force tau B minus tau C into BD. Fine. So now we can calculate the value of VUS, which is equal to 1.3 minus 0.48 into 230 into 400. The value of U is 75440 Newton. For this value of shear force, we have to design, we have to design our shear stirrups. So formula as per IS456-2000 for the limitation of collapse in shear for vertical stirrups is VU is equal to 0.87 Fy ASV into D divided by SV. SV is the spacing. Here in the problem, they asked to calculate the spacing of 2 less 8 mm diameter bar. So the spacing SV will be equal to 0.87 into FY. FY of stirrups is 250. So 250 into SV. SV is the stirrups area. So there is a 2 less stirrup of 8 mm diameter. So I can write 2 into uh, pi by 4 8 square into effective depth D. What is the value of effective depth D? It is written there 400. So I can write here 400. Now divide by VUS. Already we have calculated this value in Newton 75440. So let's calculate the answer for spacing. 0.87 into 250 into 2 into uh, pi into 64 into 400 divided by 4. So, spacing we are getting 115.93 mm. So, what we need to do? The closest sensor we can see option B. So, spacing we can provide of 115 mm. We, we should not provide 116. Spacing always provide less. While designing, see this is the problem, so we need to find the answer, but while designing, what I do, suppose I get this type of answer, I put 100mm spacing in my beam of these stirrups, right? So this is the problem, so we need to get the answer, so answer is 115mm. So this is the answer, for this problem, answer is B. Option B is the correct one. Now, for the same data, we have one more problem, for the, sa for the same data, we have one more problem. So let's uh, discuss that problem. For this problem answer already we have calculated option B 115 mm. Next problem is in addition the beam is subjected to a torque whose factored value is 10.90 kN meter. The stirrups have to be provided to carry a shear equal to. Okay. So in the first problem they have given a beam which is subjected to the shear force of uh, 120 kilonewton. So for that we have seen this calculation. Now they told do not consider only the effect of shear force. This time we have to consider the effect of torsion also with shear force. So what we need to do, I will, uh, uh, I will take the effect of torsion and I will be calculating the equivalent shear force. Equivalent shear force means what? It is the total shear force due to the applied load plus due to the effect of torsion. So first of all, let's calculate the total shear force or the equivalent shear force considering the effect of torsion. So as per as 456-2000 limit state of collapse in torsion, they have given one formula to calculate the equivalent shear force which is equal to Vu plus 1.6 T divided by B. All the values should be factored. So Vu is 120 plus 1.6 into Tu is the applied torsion, applied torque and that value is 10.90. So here 10.90 divided by width B and the B already uh, we have taken that is 230. So 0.23. So we can calculate the value of equivalent shear force
so here the answer is one nine. Uh, the value of equivalent shear force is one ninety five point eight three kilo newton. This is what your equivalent shear force. <coughs> Now what we need to calculate? We need to calculate the applied or uh, the design value of shear force for which this. Uh, for which this shear shall be designed as an effect of torsion. So here, what we need to see, uh, if we want to design the shear stirrups, we should know the value of strength of concrete. You see here, this is the applied shear force. I can write applied shear force. Total amount of shear force resisted by the concrete that can be calculated. So total shear force resisted by the concrete BC is equal to tau C into BD. So tau C is 0.48, BD is 230, D is 400. So the value can be calculated 0.48 into 230 into 400. Value is 44.16 kilo newton. This is the resistance against the shear force. So this is the resistance, right? So this is the applied. This is the resistance for the remaining shear force. We have to design the shear stirrups. So what is the minimum value? So here you can see. V equivalent minus V C. So this is the value of design VUS. VUS means design uh, shear force one ninety five point eight three minus forty four point one six. So we can calculate one fifty one point six seven. So here one fifty one point six seven kilo newton. So I can write the design value of shear force equal to. One fifty one point six seven kilo newton. So this is the uh, shear force for which we are going to design the stirrups. Right? The design of the stirrups will be same. Only the calculation of uh, uh, nominal shear forces or the design shear forces will change. We have to introduce the effect of torsion also in this case. So for this problem, they have given four options. So option C is matching to our answer. So answer is C. 151.67 kilonewton. So, so this both the problems were asked in the year of GATE 2008 for four marks. Thank you so much.